There is a vote in the Lords, my lord. Oh, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go and do my bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> as MacArthur said. <laughs> Thank you, Lord West. Um, I'm assured that the security minister um, is somewhere on the estate um, and he's being tracked down by his staff. I'd also like to thank Baroness Simons for giving us the opportunity to deliver this event here this evening in the very prestigious House of Commons. My Lords, ladies and gentlemen, as Chief Executive of 19 events, I am very proud to stand here before you this evening. And thank you so much for taking the time to be here. As Lord West highlighted, The threats that face our security agencies are three-dimensional, both from home, overseas, and online are vast. For many decades, the UK has faced a range of attacks from a range of organisations, including the IRA that brought its campaign here to London in the 1970s. Brighton in the 80s, we've seen attacks in Manchester, and more recently, attacks from Al-Qaeda, so-called Islamic State, and the lone terrorist. Whilst we recognise the darker hours for the UK, <clears throat> I would also like to remember our more defining moments. By working together in partnership We've kept many iconic major events safe and secure, like the Royal Wedding, the Olympics, the Queen's Jubilee, Glasgow in 2014, in Wales in 2014, we successfully hosted the NATO Summit, the Rugby World Cup in 2015, although I would say the success was more off pitch. <laughs> but we came good in the end <coughs> at the Six Nations. <laughs> so, <laughs> so with all of this in mind, Great Britain is well versed in dealing with terrorist attacks. Our government and security agencies are envied globally, this we know. And our UK security companies here in this room this evening are the very best worldwide for their expertise and innovation. So what are we missing? We're missing a global showcase that brings all of this together. Lord West, whilst he's off voting, um, I was there for his speech <clears throat> in 2010 when he said what we need is a global security showcase on the par of our major defence counterparts. Well, with his guidance and that from our security advisory board and a very committed team behind us, here she is. UK Security Expo will unite government and industry, will recognise us, the UK, as the centre of excellence this will bring security together with defence to tackle those global security challenges. It will be the global blockbuster showcase that Lord West once spoke of. It will be a show that we can be proud of, that governments can be proud of, and industry can be proud of, and we will fly the flag for Great Britain. So incorporated into UK Security Expo, Good evening, Security Minister. <laughs> I can relax now. <laughs> Incorporated into UK Security Expo is our 14-year established Transec Transport Security Expo. And Security Minister, it was you who spoke at our event back in, October, in November at Olympia when you highlighted the importance of partnerships and the need for government to work more closely with industry. Well, let me tell you, UK Security Expo is a five-year plan. We will become the largest high-end global security showcase in the world. We will show joined-up systems-based thinking, like those defence counterparts. 
We will present integrated security solutions to tackle those global security problems. We will showcase around 700 exhibitors and eventually we will deliver in excess of 20,000 global end users. Our objective for UK Security Expo is to actually showcase us, Great Britain, as the leaders in innovation that we are. We will continue our work with UK Trade and Investments and we will become a major platform for export for HM governments. And thanks to the support from UKTI DSO, and I'd like to thank Stephen Phipson, head of DSO, who's here this evening, for their work and their support, where last year we delivered 36 country delegations, three of which were HVO high value opportunities, bringing over 500 million of spend into the UK. We will continue to grow our share of the global security markets. In context, the UK currently owns 14% of the defence global markets. We currently own around 4.5% of the global security markets. And there lies our opportunity for UK Security Expo. I've mentioned this a five year plan, <clears throat> and UK Security Expo starts this year. We've incorporated Transport Security Expo, Transec, and we've also gone on to add the following key sectors to make this a large, high-end and high-spend event. Our journey starts here. We will deliver 8,000 global attendees this year. We had 4,778 attendees to transact last year, and that's just one of our core sectors. This year, we will have over 250 exhibitors, we will continue our work with UK Trade and Investments and the Home Office to deliver more international delegations. We will continue our work to build on the eight Prime Minister's trade envoys that we had to the event last year. And we will grow the number of hosted buyers in our hosted buyers programme to 30. This is your opportunity as exhibitors to meet face-to-face -face guaranteed our highest profile buyers of UK Security Expo. So, what makes us different? A defining factor of UK Security Expo <coughs> is our innovative format of design, secure and respond. <coughs> Most security events, ours included, have always focused on the secure part. However, by adding a unique conference called Designing Out Terrorism, we are targeting and delivering those planning consultants, engineers and architects that specify in security from the very concept stage. This is your opportunity as exhibitors to engage, influence those specifiers from the outset of new build and refurbishment. If the first two fail, design and secure. If they're breached, how do our agencies respond? This you will see firsthand in our new response theatre that sits at the heart of UK Security Expo, where you will see live scenario based attacks played out from chemical attacks, IED attacks, and also cyber security attacks. All of this helps position UK Security Expo as a leading global security showcase. We will continue to work with the Primes and thank you so much for so many of the Primes being here this evening. To bring security and defence together to tackle those global security issues. We're working on a new feature in the show called Cross Domain Solutions that will showcase some of our strongest UK export capability to tackle those global issues. <clears throat> it was two years ago that I sat in front of Rob Coleman, former head of Home Office Cast, and Rob said what we needed was a security event that showcased end-to-end -end solutions, one that promoted SMEs. Well, thank you to Jane Cannon and her team from the Home Office Last year, we successfully showcased a range of SMEs 
collaborating to deliver a future borders experience. It was called The Art of the Possible for Next Generation Border Security. I would also like to say a special thank you to Sir Charles Montgomery, Director General of Border Force, and also Julie Gillis, Senior Director for Border Force, here this evening for their work and their support. Going forward into 2016, we will build on the border elements of the show, but we are also in planning with the Home Office on a new immersive demonstration for protecting crowded places. This will once again be aimed at showcasing SMEs working in collaboration. So those SMEs, please be by your inbox and expect our call for involvement to step forward for this project. UK Security Expo will be incredibly content rich. The focus is on sharing best practice and learning and education. The objective is to offer lots of free compelling content on the show floor to attract quality attendees and to make sure that you as exhibitors are busy for the, the, the entire two days. And also to maximise government and industry collaboration. Exhibitors, as you can imagine, there is an enormous effort to deliver a major event on this scale. But we will go the extra mile and we do not forget that it is you, the industry, our exhibitors, who are the show makers. And as such, our efforts are squarely focused on driving quality footfall to your stands. So, Virgin sits on our advisory board and it's their chief who once said that a company is simply a collection of people. If that's the case, 19 events has been organising shows for over 14 years. I've been in the security event sector for over 20 years. In 2002, we launched Transec, Transport Security Expo. And in 2008, we launched a show that you may be familiar with, Counter Terror Expo, that we grew to 400 exhibitors and was acquired in 2012. Having been in the sector for so long, we have an in-depth understanding of the marketplace and we have the closest relationships with the stakeholders. <coughs> and during our time in the sector, we have been trusted enough to host many government and agency closed door meetings alongside our show. <coughs> we have a passion for security and I wholeheartedly believe that Great Britain should host the biggest and best security show in the world. And to do that, we've got the right team. We have the relationships with the stakeholders and an understanding of the markets. And finally, we've got an advisory board with the top organisations from industry and government to keep us on track. For maximum interaction with that advisory board, we are thrilled that the day-to-day -day coordination is handled by the former head of ADS, Bob Rose. I started by saying how proud I am to stand before you and present this show. Let me assure you that we will not falter on our mission to fly the flag for Great Britain and grow UK Security Expo. Security Minister, we have the very best of British Security PLC in this room this evening. We have over 200 of the primes and SMEs, and we share your passion to grow our share of the global security market. And I think the very fact that you're here this evening certainly underpins the government's commitment to facilitate that goal. My Lords, Ladies, and gentlemen, it now gives me great pleasure to introduce our Security Minister, the Right Honourable John Hayes. Thank you. Thank you.